this flow of information is something very basic because uh, we can consider the dynamic object as the source of all sorts of information and the immediate object as the sink of this uh, semiosis and then the flow of information from dynamic object to immediate object can be understood as a uh, differential equation by which the form uh, of the dynamic object through the sign is being transferred to the immediate object and the, there is a maximization of this transfer. So this differential equation is the mother of all possible Lagrangians. So everything we know in reality is based on a differential equation and based on a Lagrangian. All equations of physics, actually all equations of science are based on a fundamental Lagrangian. There is a book written by Roy Frieden in which he explains that this flow of information is a fissure information that is departing from a source and being deposited in a sink. The fissure information has to do with a probability law. So there is a probability law, a form, a fissure information that is being transferred through a medium which is assigned to the immediate object and we can see how as this information grows the umwelt grows the possible predication of the sign grows and actually we can see that as the, uh, this information crosses the immediate object this diagram changes its form. As information reaches the immediate object, the diagram of space is transformed. And uh, Roy Frieden could, uh, by this transformation of the diagram, uh, derive the Einstein equations of space and time. Uh, the same thing if, if we go to Schrodinger's equations, when we see Fisher information as the information would uh, uh, allow us to describe the behavior of a, of a particle. It is a process of registration in which what we call the particle, the dynamic object, carries uh, a fissure information that is as a wave uh, being a pattern, a probability law, it is a wave that is transforming in space and time. And by the same idea of this exchange of information, right freedom could uh, de de derive the equations of quantum mechanics. And so go goes on for all sorts of uh, uh, equations of science. Now, what I want to express is that we can generalize this same solenoid of semiosis to all possible sorts of semiosis in reality.